say? I just said that doesn't like me representing his seven seconds of music every yeah. week, and he said I, if I had known Jason was going to be on there, I. No, no, that would that would bum me out if I if if I too made a song like that. Let me let's get back to your underwear habits. What is it? Is it you don't have enough clean underwear? I just don't have any laundry. We we ride around doing pranks all day, <laughs> for eight to nine hours out of the day. I don't have time to do laundry. <laughs> We ride around eight hours a day, so you have to go through multiple pairs of underwear in one day. I just don't have any clean ones, and I just I have to upload my videos, and it takes a long time to edit. <laughs> and I get uncomfortable in my underwear, so I have to take it off. And I'm quite I'm... comfortable. I'm free balling right now, and it's disgusting. Let me ask you: uh, Why don't you give me some of those underwear? I'll take them and I will wash them. Well, and I'll I'll take them home tonight. Then then the problem will be solved. The, because the thing is, if I give them to you, I know you're not going to wash them. Of course I'm going to wash them. You're going to slip them right on because you like that, you dirty, dirty old man. I don't have a bureau. You're going to sniff them and you're going to be like, yeah, this is it. This is why I let him have all those oh, me you know what? Don't compliment yourself so much. If I was going to be <laughs> pedophilic with some young boy, it certainly wouldn't be you. You are not my type. I'm not arguing with you what little boy you'd be pedophilic to. No, it sounds like you are being. You have the hubris right now to say that I would be like all over you if I was I, a dirty I, old man. What did I say about using big words around me? You told me undies. You didn't tell me. Oh, um, no. He, I, and I'm also not a young boy. I'm 21. If you want to have sex with me, it's completely fine. Dude, you're not my type. <laughs> Get off it. I'm like, God, you guys, do you believe this guy? <laughs> you believe Romeo, it? Fred. These are my boys. I got my securities here today. Hey, what's up, boss? <laughs> hey, how's it going, boss? That's a funny joke. You got David on that one. Damn. Thanks, guys. Where do those voices come from? That's Romeo. Are they hiding and in Fred. the? They're hiding in the walls. You don't want. They're hiding in my mind. <laughs> in, my, in my in my mind that I lost my mind a few years ago. Did you know that? Where where? Right before I met you, I lost my mind. <laughs> it was I lost it, and then you know you've made it made it way worse. But about four or five years ago, I lost my mind. I was diagnosed as bipolar. Uh huh. And uh and yeah, I was like walking around all day, absolutely insane. I I took. Wait, I, you're bipolar? Yeah. What does that mean? You get cold often. I'm kidding. <laughs> you get cold and then you get warm flashes. That's menopause. <laughs> um, no, I, I'll tell you a funny story. I went, right when I was like doing Vine, I was like, I was getting, I, I, I would, there was a time at about eight o'clock at night, I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was still married then and I just, I was having the worst time and I just, I didn't know what was going on and I was fine all day and what was happening was I was like having these huge adrenaline rushes all day really happy all day and then I would crash so anyways the doctor they went to see this doctor these people friends of mine they're like we, we know you're bipolar they diagnosed me somehow and went and the guy gave me uh medication and uh and like I didn't take it I went and then I kind of sat on it for like a week and I remember the minute I took it I, I my whole life changed I went into like this total uh drug-induced episode <laughs> Jason. The day the day I took the pills, you started that story with. Can I can I tell you a funny story? <laughs> well, part of that was funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, let me let me I, get to it. And then I almost overdosed. And so, <laughs> so no, so so they said that it would take two weeks for the medication to work. Uh -huh. And I was at a bowling party with okay. my son. This is where it gets comical. Took my son to a bowling party. Wow. And uh, this like dad, other dad started talking to me, and I was like, I don't want to talk to him. And then uh, I was like. I ran in my car and I grabbed the medication and I took it and literally like in like a minute, like the, the whole bowling alley slowed down. And then ever since then, I've been better. What do you mean? Like you were, you were getting mad at the dad? Yeah, I was getting really agitated. Because he kept talking to you? Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I can talk to you. Like, I, I, have, I have trouble like when people... Like, if You've I, stopped taking those pills. Huh? Have you stopped taking those pills? Uh, no, I still take them. But last night you definitely didn't. What is that supposed to mean? No, oh, there you go. You didn't take them today either. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my God! Don't you dare mix my bipolarness into what you did last night.